feeling the cool come over while the eclipse happened? I don't know where I was in 2017, honestly, but I don't remember it being this big of an event. I remember it was big, but this feels like a whole other. It's Maybe it's because we're in the, the path eclipse. of totality for yeah, the most part. Probably. Maybe that's why. So there's plenty of places if you're getting ready to, uh, who are getting ready to host visitors for the eclipse. Even in Indiana, where some smaller towns are preparing. Let's get to Jordan Belines, who is live in Brookville this morning with a look at watch parties there. Jordan, have you seen people already out this morning? Yes, absolutely, Andrea. That's what I'm super excited about because this morning, uh, you know, things are starting to percolate quite a bit leading up to this huge historical event taking place later on this afternoon. So first, I want you guys to meet Brian Noah. Brian, uh, tell me a little bit about your involvement really with, with this eclipse and also, uh, I, is it the art that we have behind us right here? Yes. Okay. So I, I'm the president of Main Street Brookville and through a grant that we secured through the Simons Foundation, uh, we were able to have this done locally here in Brookville, just a, a couple miles out of town. Uh, this grid was created uh, from uh, an artist at our newspaper office, and then uh, 1,800 plants went into this. Uh, so it's eight feet by 16 feet, four pieces of plywood, huge living mural, should last us a couple months, but gets us, gets us kicked off the right way for the eclipse. Absolutely. You guys have, I mean, this has taken months of preparation. Yeah, the, the flowers started uh, four or five months ago uh, from seed and uh, and just ready to go now. Wow. Well, I, you guys are ready to go. This town is ready to go. I feel like, Brian, thank you so much. Now we're going to hop over to my buddy Beverly. Um, Beverly, again, this has been months in the making. Absolutely. A lot of preparation, and it, a lot of it's going to be happening right here behind us at this park. So tell us what's going on here today. Well, there's a festival here today from 11 o'clock till 4 o'clock, and they have a, some music. They've got a lot of vendors, lots of food. There's a beer garden across the way. Yeah. Um, there's some science and art activities for kids. Um, sponsored by the, the Simons Foundation, which I think Brian touched on a little bit. Yeah. Um, and we've got beautiful weather today, and we're just so excited to see all of our visitors here in Franklin County. So absolutely, super excited. Because it's a it's a big undertaking for a small town. How, how have you guys kind of managed that, managed that balance? Well, we have a wonderful group that has been meeting since July um, regularly, and, and it's been very well attended. You know, you sometimes have people kind of start at the beginning and then sort of trickle <laughs> right. off. But everybody has been very committed to yeah. this and has just worked together throughout the entire county to make sure that we have a safe and an enjoyable event for all of our visitors because we want everybody to come back, have a good yeah. time and come back. Absolutely. Any tips that you would give folks who are coming out today in terms of what to bring, what not to bring, anything yeah. like that? Well, um, we have lots of food and food vendors. Um, so they, you know, if you they want to just come and, and take... Um, advantage of all the vendors that we have bring a lawn chair plan on just staying I mean plan yeah. on hanging around don't be in a big hurry because from what we've heard from the 2017 eclipse there's going to be some traffic involved right. um, you're just going to be sitting probably in your car if you try to leave early yeah. and there's lots of things to do uh, well into the evening exactly. uh, along Main Street and all over Franklin County actually so exactly and Beverly was telling me too if you kind of like take a look back here behind me you can see it's like a row of shops it's like a shotgun kind of of all these shops many of them are going to be staying open uh, during the eclipse so again we're right here in Brookville Indiana you can come here hang out here do a little shopping do a little sightseeing of one of the most historical events known to this town. For now, Ethan, though, I will send it over to you uh, because obviously we're talking about some great weather. The sun's starting to come.